This video will show you how to use paragraph styles inside of Blackboard in the content editor, the text editor, or also the WYSIWYG. So uh, when we're creating content, we want to make sure that the name of our file is descriptive. Um, and because the name of our file actually becomes the heading one for somebody who is using a screen reader. What I like to do when I'm using the content editor inside of Blackboard is uh, to maximize the page or go to full screen by hitting the full screen button. This will give me an example or show me the entire page all at once. So um, if I was a person using a screen reader, uh, this content isn't organized in a way that's going to help me learn because it's all identified as a paragraph. So what I want to do is go in here and uh, establish headings and paragraph styles. So this part of the text, this is a paragraph. However, this needs to be a heading. So I'm going to go in and select the first heading on the top of my list. And then underneath that, I have a subheading. So I'm going to select my uh, subheading one. And then if I'd like to indent my subheading one, which I would, I'm going to bump it over and this next block of text is an unordered list or bullets since they're they don't occur in a sequence so i'm just going to take that and i can remove the extra spaces here so that this is the text that i have right so i have my heading as you can see here i have my subheading and then i have my unordered list. Uh, this is a subheading, so this would also be a subheading because it goes underneath famous sayings. So I'm going to select this and then subheading one and I can indent it to match this one and I can select this group of text and create another unordered list. And um, and then you just want to be consistent as you build the page because really what a screen reader is going to see is this where it's actually going to list the unordered lists it's going to uh, have a heading style for those famous sayings so then uh, it makes more sense to people that are using the screen reader